welcome back to my channel so today I bring you another threading video but this time around not to trim my hair but to achieve the fluffy twist out look I wanted to also use this to to stretch my hair before I put it in a protective style so I just wanted to show you how I do that by using the plastic thread that I talked about in my previous threading um, video but I couldn't find it so here's the thread I bought this years ago I think from eBay this time around I'm going to use this thread so I'm just going to show you briefly how I do that but I won't do a detailed video like I did before so this is just me showing you my hair after my protein treatment it's been five days and I've not moisturized at all it's just been air drying in braids so as you can see it's a very moisturizing treatment so here I'm just going in with some water before I apply my moisturizer so as you can see a lot of the coils stayed in my hair after my finger coils so it's been really hard to take them out so they're not tangled but if i put a comb through them now i think it will be a problem <laughs> so here i'm going in with my ayurveda infused hair oil so as you can see a lot of the coils are still in my hair and it's just a nightmare to take out so i'm just going to keep them and then thread my hair and see how I get on. So I'm just gonna go off camera and then finish the threading and show you. That's because I already have a detailed video on how I thread my hair. So I've got 10 in total, two at my crown, and then four on each side. So I'll take it out tomorrow and then I'll just twirl the end around my fingers, take it out tomorrow and then do my twist out. So here we go. Put it in a ponytail. Then follow up with my hair bonnet from Ankara Bonnet. And then this is the next day, just doing the takedown. During this time, I was actually 37 weeks pregnant. So I've gone and removed all the threads. So this is the result okay, of the threading. So now I'll just go ahead and twist with some leave-in conditioner and my shea butter. So for each section, I am going to separate into two. Detangle because, as you know, I did not detangle um, when I was doing this. I just finger detangled. So I'm just gonna try and comb it out because I still had coils from when I did my finger coils, which was quite difficult to take out maybe you can still see them so you can now see them as clumps so my hair feels very moisturized as you can see my hands still has oil on them it doesn't feel very rough or frizzy which I do tend to get from the um, from when I use the thread so that's really good so I'm just going in with my Shea Moisture Style Milk before I proceed to detangle. So I'm going to start at the end. So I'm just going to try and comb it out before twisting my hair. Hmm. So as you can see, it's quite difficult to comb out the, the clumps. I tried and it didn't work. So for the rest of my hair, I decided to go off camera, use the blow dryer on low heat using the tension method. Unfortunately, I did not film that, but I'll have to do a new video and show you what I did. So that's basically what I did for the rest of my hair and combed it out, 
and twisted my hair. And then twist. So I'm going to twist tight at the roots because I don't want it to unravel or be too loose at the roots. So I'm going to just apply a bit more butter to the end and then twirl. Just a bit more butter to the end and then twirl. So hopefully this will give us a very stretched twist out and then so I've gone and finished twisting my hair and I feel like I should probably keep this as a style it's cute isn't it <laughs> but yeah this is my hair and I love it so I'm just gonna let it sit for an hour or two and then take it out. So it's been about two hours, so I'm just gonna go ahead and unravel these twists. I'm gonna use this Marulo oil that I've got. I got this from Holland and Barrett and it's for the skin but I'm just gonna use it for my end. So I just apply a little bit to my hands and then to the ends of my hair just to reduce frizz and give the hair some more shine. So I'm just undoing the twist after about two hours. I could have kept these twists as a protective style but I just want my hair down before I put it into long-term protective styling. Uh, I really love my makeup here. I can't believe that I was 37 weeks pregnant here. I looked so beautiful. <laughs> I kind of miss being pregnant. Where I got all the energy to do any of these videos, I have no idea. <laughs> but I'm glad I did because now that I have baby, I'm not able to just do these hairstyles so every so yeah this is a uh, my loose <laughs> twist out and I will keep it in these sections and just disturb my roots a bit so that I can get some more body in my roots but here we go And this is after my protein treatment, so my hair is super moisturized. So here we are, my loose chunky twist out. I love it so I'm just gonna take a few pictures thank you for watching let me know if you've tried this um, plastic threading method before I was able to um, to keep a lot of moisture in my hair and I just love the results that I got so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you in my next video